Are you dealing with someone who is an exhibitionist narcissist? This is a type of narcissist that you might miss. There are different ways that exhibitionism can manifest in people. So today at queenbeing.com, we're going to discuss how exhibitionism and narcissism mix. So let's get started. My name is Angie Atkinson and on this channel I offer free daily video coaching to help you discover, understand, and overcome narcissistic abuse in toxic relationships. I like to call it toxic relationship rehab. Does that sound good to you? If so, hit that subscribe button and let's get going. So most narcissists fall into one of two categories, either cerebral or somatic. Now if they're the cerebral type, they use their minds to get what they want. They manipulate, they play games, they do all this. If they're primarily a somatic type, they're all about using their bodies to get what they want. You know what I'm talking about? So a somatic narcissist not only uses their body, but they're also going to flaunt their possessions, stuff they have. They might be like, look at this fancy car that I drive. It makes me special. They might be all about, you know, being muscles or workout. There are those people on Facebook who post all the pictures of all the stuff about their bodies or the people who post all the pictures of all the fancy things they purchase. They're all about feeling like they're sexually attractive. They have all the money in the world. They put this false image forth. They put a false image forth. Now that is in stark contrast to the cerebral narcissist who is all about looking smarter, being smarter, being better than people. In fact, often looking down their nose at people. This type of narcissist, the exhibitionist type or the somatic type is the one who wants everyone to see them and their image, their external image as what they are. So they want to be seen as rich, as attractive, as perfect, as having everything, being popular, being the center of the world. So let's talk about that kind of narcissist, shall we? How do you know somebody's an exhibitionist narcissist? Well, let's start by defining that. An exhibitionist narcissist in its most simple form is a grandiose type of narcissist who sees themselves as much bigger, better, or more amazing than they are, who also obviously has an inflated ego to go along with that, right? And the exhibitionist narcissist will also have a sense of entitlement that is a little bit outrageous to say the least. Next up, you need to know that the exhibitionist narcissist likes to be the center of attention all the time. They literally would like for the entire world to revolve around them. They love attention and they seek it out in all forms, personally, online, in face-to-face -face situations, in every situation. The exhibitionist narcissist wants to be the center of everything. They want everybody to love and praise them. They don't want to share the spotlight with anybody unless that person's already in the spotlight if they're not, in which case they'll just scooch in there with you, get, you, get a little closer so they can share some of the spotlight and often even try to push you out of the spotlight. So here's an example of this. A narcissist mother's daughter gets married and the mother makes the day all about her and if it doesn't seem quite like it's really all about her then she'll have some kind of dramatic episode so that the wedding can't be enjoyed by the other people she'll pretend to faint or you know something terrible happened or she'll have some big drama fest with something that is really not anyone's fault or that she's taking too personally or whatever you get the idea they easily become jealous if they're not getting the spotlight the next thing is like lots of other narcissists they lack empathy that is the key thing for almost every narcissist in the world who is toxic is that they lack empathy the reason a narcissist can be so cruel to you the reason they don't care that they hurt you, manipulate you, and lie to you, and everything else is straight up because they lack empathy. They don't care how you feel. So exhibitionist narcissists, they are no different. They don't understand what you're feeling and they don't care to. They can't relate and so they often ignore your feelings. While exhibitionist narcissists are totally capable of being hurt emotionally, they don't realize it when they hurt other people. Or if they do realize it, they don't care. They're only able to see their own feelings and they generally just don't care how other people feel. They tend to also be very selfish exhibitionist narcissists like a lot of other narcissists. They expect the world to bend to their needs and their desires. They want everything right now. They have no sense of patience, no tolerance for anything that takes more than a second. They don't believe in the whole strive to get to the goal thing. They just want the goal right now. For example, at work, you might say to this narcissist, hey, listen, you're doing a great job, but I'm gonna need to see XYZ completed before I can move you into the next position. And they feel offended by that because they're like, why do I have to go through all the work steps to get to the thing that I already know I'm good enough for? Because I'm a narcissist and I think nobody's better than me or something like that. They have no sense of being able to 
wait. They can't anticipate with excitement. They have to have what they want and they want it right now. They'll have it now or they're going to make your life a living hell. And again, they don't care how their wishes inconvenience other people. Exhibitionist narcissists are very likely to expect perfection. That's the next thing. Most of them expect perfection from everybody around them and they have unrealistic expectations and very high standards. They also believe that they're perfect and it is nearly impossible to get them to admit or to be convinced that they've made any sort of mistake. They will push their expectations on you and anyone else who will listen, and they refuse to live in the real world. They will project perfection onto you and everyone else because they want you to see them as perfect. So they think that if they are like, I'm perfect, then you'll think they're perfect. It's really important to them that you think they're perfect. They go to great lengths to convince you that they're perfect and everybody else. They'll spend hours editing photos or cleaning their houses or buying new stuff to impress you with. In fact, if it's necessary, they will actually lie to convince you that they're perfect by just making up a story. A lot of exhibitionist narcissists show up online because it's so easy to fake perfection online. So they'll post idealized images and stories about themselves that might be true or partially true, but they always put a happy golden spin on it. Now that doesn't mean that you should post all the negative things in, in social media. It just means be real with who you are. The exhibitionist narcissist is really good at using other people. That's the next thing we need to be aware of. Since they don't care about other people, it's easy for them to use them. In some cases, they'll even go so far as to use family members as props. Y'all know anybody like that? As a prop in a smear campaign, for example, like I've said a bazillion times and like many other narcissists, the exhibitionist narcissist will often think of people as things instead of people or objects or extensions of themselves. Since they think this way, they often believe that people are easy to kind of switch out and exchange. They're interchangeable, right? So like that's why it's really easy for them to dump you one day and get married a month later to somebody else, even if you guys were together 20 years because a narcissist is in their mind, you're just some object, you're not a whole person, you're just an extension of themselves. So they figure, well, it's kind of like switching out a cell phone. Just plug in the old information to the new person, it'll be all better, right? These narcissists often make their friends and their family members feel like they are accessories to the narcissist or things. Since they need to be the center of attention at all times, they have no problem pushing you aside to get what they want. Narcissists in general have a hard time returning affection unless it's convenient for them, again, because they don't view you as an equal. The next thing you need to know about is that narcissists, especially these types, but in general, they are not going to give you apologies and they are not going to give you the pleasure of knowing they took responsibility for their own behavior. And exhibitionist narcissists are no different. They don't apologize in a sincere way, even if they know they've done something wrong, and that's because they don't take responsibility for their actions. And if they do, they blame it on, well, yeah, I did that, but it was only because the dog ran across the street and hit me in the nose with a spoon, or some such illogical response. They refuse to acknowledge when they're wrong, period. You could wait forever to hear an apology from them. You won't get one unless, that is, they're using it as a manipulation tool, they got what they want from you, and then it's not sincere. Unless they have the ulterior motive of getting something from you, in which case they will convince themselves that they didn't really make a mistake, but they're pretending they did just to shut you up and make you happy, that's the only time you're gonna get a sincere apology from them. That's the only time. If they were to have to admit a mistake was something that really happened in their lives, they really did make that mistake, it really was a thing, then they would have to admit they weren't perfect, that would completely pop their little ego bubble and in essentially render them helpless or collapsed, which we talked about last week, a collapsed narcissist. It would be a devastating blow to their ego. It is easier for a narcissist to pretend nothing is wrong, especially this type. Easier to ignore the issues forever and let other people suffer because, once again, they don't give a crap. Once you learn the signs, it's really easy to spot this type of narcissist, so use it to avoid them in the future if you're not already identifying someone in your life. Oh yeah. This brings me to the question of the day. And the question of the day is, do you know an exhibitionist narcissist, a somatic narcissist? Do you know one and what are they like? What in this video struck with you as someone you might recognize? Or what else would you add to this video? Share your thoughts and your ideas in the comment section below and let's talk about it. All right, that's all I've got for you right now. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. I'll see you soon. It's my mission to teach others what I know to be true. You really can create the life you want. Take care of your body. Take care of your soul. Nurture the real you and introduce him or her to the world. Be comfortable in your own skin. 
and in your place in this world. Take your spot, take it now, and the universe will take its cue from you. You feel me? If so, subscribe to my channel. Let's get it done together.